Okay, good morning everyone. It is the start of a new week here in southern Indiana. And for me, as I've posted on a Facebook post, uh, I have been retired on for eight years now as a 40-year educator and just basically a full-time uh, cattle guy and involved in a lot of organizations such as the Indiana Beef Cattle Association, the Indiana Angus Association, and now as Federation Vice President as part of NCBA representing Region 1, which is 17 of the eastern states. So just a little bit about the week ahead, and we'll see what kind of videos I can put with this, but uh, we've already stopped at the dentist this morning at 7.30. I'm off to the feed mill to get goat feed. Uh, when I get home, I'm gonna haul two loads of big round bales, which is eight bales to a load. Uh, to get some where I've had in storage for the winter. I've only got five big ground bales left at home, so I'll use those first, but haul some of those others in. And man, I'm headed uh, due east and I'm heading right into the sun. It is really hard to see. But anyway, I'll get that hauled home. Then I'll hook up the livestock trailer and I'm going to haul uh, seven or eight head of, of cows down to Brownstown, Indiana. Uh, for a friend of mine so that they can have embryos put in those cows so those will be recipient cows As soon as that's over my day will end I'm going to drop my livestock trailer off over by Seymour, Indiana to get some hail damage repaired that was done back in uh, uh, last spring when we had all that uh, softball sized hail that destroyed our shingles and barn roof and aluminum livestock trailer roof so that's that then on Tuesday uh, I'll put out hay and uh, the next thing is I will be flying out of Indianapolis to Denver for three days worth of meetings and uh, be back toward the end of the week so it's just kind of a busy kind of a week might also add we had a calf last night uh, I don't know whether, I think some of that will be on the video from the barn cameras, but she shot it through the fence or it fell through the fence and was out in some mud. So that was a kind of an interesting evening last night. So anyway, everyone, uh, when you watch this, whatever week you're getting ready for or weekend, uh, enjoy. And again, as you watch these videos, we appreciate you watching. We appreciate you sharing the videos and, and even more uh, we'd encourage everyone to hit that subscribe button have a great one everyone
Well, this is what makes uh, farm life, oh, I won't say fun, but interesting. I was putting out hay, and a good ways from my yard, but I leave that gate open because the cows never come down. But these two nosy calves decided they were gonna explore. And we'll see if they go around and go through the gate. But the gate goes the wrong direction. Well, I got lucky. The little turds. Well, since I'm just about out of square bales, I'm gonna have to kind of tear uh, some of uh, the hay off of a brown bale. And this is stuff that's been stored in the barn, so it's pretty good. And I'm getting ready to put some of this hay out to this cow that's up. That's uh, have no idea when she's due because she's bull bred. There's uh, three or four more that I'm going to have to get up today. My daughter will be up here to help, so we'll sort off three or four more that I know that they are AI. So uh, here we go, getting this hay out for this cow. Some of the replacement heifers saw me putting out hay, although they have a big ground bale themselves, they came up basically to get a drink. There's some Southern Charm Angus heifers here. Uh, there's a set of True North Twins. And uh, I think an Uno Moss or two in here. I think there's a total of nine of those. Also, it's kind of interesting, the cows have got hay. I put out five bales yesterday and uh, I guess they thought they were gonna get fed, so a bunch of those came up here. They're kind of spoiled, because they know sometimes I give them a little grain here in the lot. But here's the uh, part of the cow herd. There's calves out here, out of a bull called Here I Come, which I think is a Van Hove bull. Pick some of that semen up. Uh, I think last year at uh, the Ohio Beef Expo, 0116 here is a bread heifer that I bought from Swab. Although she raises nice calves, I just cannot catch her in heat. So every year she's been bull bred. Probably not gonna calve until April, but that's okay. Here's a KR Synergy. There's a stock fun, Angus. Uh, peace of mind which is a no worry son so later on I'll have better pictures here's a cow that hasn't calved yet so we'll be getting her up today I believe uh, she's starting to make uh, some udder yep so she'll be due I think her due date's the 21st two more in here that's due around the 20th so as I said my daughter and I will get those up Early morning chores, checking the cows. Well, then sometimes you have to clean up your mess in the barn after a few weeks.
Well, my daughter came up and we sorted off some cows. So there's three more due around the 20th, 21st. This particular cow right here, we thought was due any time. And basically, she is either going to be a few days late or she's not going to be due until around the 30th. And I just can't tell. So I guess my skills aren't too good. These other three cows look like they're going to be on their AI date or close to it. So, a beautiful day here in uh, southern Indiana. And got quite a bit done today. And believe it or not, the yard got mowed. And uh, things are pretty nice here.